Hey, welcome back to the Jay Douglas Show. So excited to have everybody here. Also, we've got a guest, Megan Massey. He's going to talk a lot about marketing today, right? Yep, I'm excited. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks you can use today. Let's see what you got. I'm excited today. We got a lot to talk about, and we got a special guest, Megan Massey. Hello. Uh, marketing director, and what she has to offer us today was so exciting that I said, I'm not going to try to explain this on my own. Let's just bring her on and have a good conversation. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. So um, before we dive in, let's bring some context. Let's okay. let the audience know. Um, who you are, how long you've been in the business, what you do, that sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So marketing director for a brokerage now, but I started out as a marketing director for a team. So I've grown, um, started really with content creation, tracking and measuring that, but I've definitely learned there's a lot more to marketing than just posting. So I have learned some tips and tricks along the way. I've been in it for almost three years and really enjoying it and happy to pass that information on to you guys. Awesome. Awesome. So... I kind of want to, I got a lot of places, I've even got my com computer up today because we're talking on some content that I'm not an expert at, I've got my notes here, but instead of me diving in, where do you want to start? Oh, I'll start anywhere. Um, I think one thing that really interests me and I think is really valuable to a lot of realtors is automation. Um, I think it's the next level to Facebook and it's kind of cutting edge, so the sooner you do it, you know, the more hip you are and the more um, relevant you are to your consumers. So. Talking on Facebook automation, I'd love to tell you a little trick, and this is a website called ManyChat, and it's all for Facebook automation, and it's virtually free. Um, of so course, wait, is this like ManyChat, like many, like little, or many, like multiple? Not many, like little, many, like multiple, M-A-N-Y, uh -huh. and uh, because think you have many chats going on um, gotcha. okay. automa automatically. So this is a pretty much free website, however, you can pay $10 to get those extra tricks and you know, gadgets, but wait, wait, $10 is the upgraded the, version. Yes. Okay. So it's, it's, it's free. Right? Yeah, Basically absolutely. Free. Okay. And with this, you will always be there when your client is looking for you. You will never have someone send you a message and you're going to wait a day or you're busy at a barbecue. You can't respond. So you're going to ignore it. You're going to forget about it. With mini chat, you can set up keywords even. So you say an area of town. If someone mentions this area, Udua or Hickson, you can have an automated message ready to go. Or simply if they say, um, you know, hey, you could have a series that says, hey, are you looking to buy or sell? Um, do you have a different question? What can I help you with? So anyways, it's just a way to set up very automated, very organic, um, good responses. Okay, cool. So let me, let me break this down a little bit so I can make sure I understand. And so the audience can understand. Yeah. You mean like you're going to create a post? Mm -hmm. Okay, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Does this work on other platforms or just Facebook? Just Facebook. Just Facebook. Okay, cool. So if you put a post on Facebook, and let's say you put a picture of, it doesn't even matter, right? You right. put a unicorn up there, right? Whatever it may be. And in the comments, you would say, hey, if you're interested in hanging out with my unicorn today, yeah, um, you know, whatever it may be, right? are they going to... When they comment, yes. if they say, if they put anything on there, you're saying just if they comment that they'll automatically get a message from you? The great thing about ManyChat is it's so customizable. There's tons of different ways to use it. And what you're talking about is a growth tool within ManyChat called um, uh, Live Chat. So basically when someone comments on a post, you can create a keyword. So what we're doing with coming soons is we'll post a coming soon. It's about to hit the market. If you want more information on this because it's not listed anywhere else, comment more. Now that's a keyword with mini chat and it's going to send them an automatic private message mm -hmm. with all the information about that coming soon. You can even add links, um, more pictures, direct them to your phone number. There's so many options. So that's one end of it, the whole comment section. And that goes for, we're having an open house, comment, open house. We're doing a giveaway, comment, I want to win. So keywords and automation. Gotcha. So to get really specific, you're saying, you might say, here's a picture of a house. You might tease them a little bit with like the neighborhood mm -hmm. or the part of town it's in, but then say, for more info, comment info for yes. price and more pictures. Right, which opens up a conversation where you can, instead of just sending them to your website and not knowing what really happened with them, unless they registered, which is the goal. 
Um, you can have that really organic conversation that you can keep nurturing even without a phone number and email address. You know awesome. what I mean? Awesome. Awesome. So in other words, they start the conversation. You don't have to do anything unless they respond. And then you can now, you're in a conversation. Absolutely. So a lot of people think with social media and trying to create that business, it's like, you know, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. Well, I have a feeling what agents do have time for is responding back to somebody that actually says, I'm interested in doing whatever it is you're trying to get me to do. So right. the automation is all the legwork to get them started. And then it's the agent's job to take off from there. Yeah, absolutely. Totally cool. Totally cool. So um, have you had any problems with mini chat or any concerns or is it pretty simple? You know, it's a, it's a learning curve just figuring out what do you want to say and what could they respond if you're creating that whole long um, automated flow. But it's easily it's easy to figure out and it takes a little bit of practice, but you can figure it out. And problems, you know, I think probably just a ton of response. You know, um, one day we looked, we had 180 messages and stifling through that was kind of hard for our virtual assistants. And it was kind of like, okay, let's have a plan in place. So I think that if you're going to start using mini chat and you're going to create an ad for it, you need to have a plan in place to prospect that, um, Facebook messenger. Cause now they're not in your CRM. Now they're in your Facebook messenger. So it's a whole nother place to check. And I think that was probably our biggest problem, but I think on the other end, that's not really a Problem. Yeah, if I have to have a problem, it's how many people can I handle? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a good problem. So now I do know that you've been working with a little bit of this and a couple other Facebook projects, but she's been doing this and spending a little bit of money on ads for the past six months with a specific team. And tell them, tell them what kind of results you've created with that. Right. So we've been running lead ads um, with a specific team, like you said, uh -huh. spending not too much money. Uh, uh -huh. like I think total we spent about two thousand, three thousand dollars over six months, over six months. Okay. And we got 24 closings and we've Pretty generated awesome. close to 5,000 leads that are in our pool being worked right now. A lot in the watch category. So wait, wait. Worst case scenario, three grand spent, got that many leads, 24 closings. Yeah. 24 closings. Yeah. And what's surprising as a Facebook lead is nine months, um, out and we've only been doing it for six months and we have 24 closings. So there's a lot more coming. Oh yeah. Cool. So she shifted gears there a little bit, started talking about lead ads. Right. I don't want to go, I don't want to get too far in the weeds because we got a lot of the good things to talk about, but lead ads is a Facebook product, right? Yes. So the best way is Google it. Figured it. Yeah. Yep. Start there. Just Google it. Just Google it. That's yep. an awesome place to go. So, all right, cool. So automation, little techie, but pretty simple. Yes. On the beginning, you can dig deeper. Um, let's talk about how about like the, um, there's a lot of people out there that are talking about social media. We've heard the Gary V jab, jab, jab hook. Um, but then people are always about content creation. Right. And it's like, you know, what do I take a picture of me? Do I take a picture of a house? Do I put a quote up? Do, what do I do? Um, one of the ways that Megan has leveraged, again, another platform out there to make things easier is this thing called Canva, right? Right. So tell them about Canva. Okay. So if you're going to start doing a bunch of content creation, which you absolutely should if you're a realtor, um, then you're going to want to learn to use a graphic design website sort of thing. Uh, some people will use Photoshop, but there's really no point in you buying Photoshop if you're just using it for Facebook content. And so that's why I want to talk about Canva, C A N V A.com. And this website makes really beautiful, simple Facebook graphics, Instagram graphics, YouTube. Um, what I love about them is they have templates and designs ready for you in the exact size that you need that YouTube cover photo or that, um, Twitter post. So they're going to, pre-generate that size. So it's not looking it up and it's not going to cut your image out and it has tons of free, free things and great designs. So it's a super simple tool for that individual agent who is, you know, just trying to start out. You know, there's a big difference between taking a Zillow review. We all know what those look like. They have that Navy blue banner mm -hmm. and it says like your profile is gaining traction even, and then it has your review. And I've seen so many people just screenshot that and then post it. What if you took that review and you put it into Canva and you made it look like your brand? So now every time you post your review, it has that blue background or that whatever your personal brand is so that when your friends start seeing those posts, they say, oh, another review from Kaylin. Oh, another review from Kaylin. They don't even have to read it. They just know you're getting a ton of reviews. That might have gone a little too deep and you're over like some people's head. Selling but you're going to be That's subconsciously cool. in their feed with all your reviews and then you're not going to get mixed in with everybody else's because everybody's doing the same thing. That's pretty awesome. So just to get bring some clarity to it on Canva, you could go as far as to like it says enter text here, you type it in or copy and paste. Mm -hmm. 
and then it's like choose your color, choose your background, and then boom, it's done. Yeah, absolutely. And that's then you simple. can even type in things like um, a star or so that's a shape, but you could type in computer. Okay. And then you're going to get a ton of pre-shot stock photos of really cool computer shops. Now I'm going to take that and make, put a Monday motivational quote over it. And I'm going to look like that's me in that coffee shop, but it's not, it's just a, you know, that's awesome. A pre, so tons of, tons of different options. Cool. Cool. So, uh, canva.com. Oh, by the way, how much is that? That's free. That uh, is another free. free. That's so pretty awesome. yeah, yeah. We're running with the free things here. Mm -hmm. So uh, cool, cool. That's really awesome. So the last thing we want to talk about here today is a little bit of gadgets and tools because I feel like the new thing, or I didn't say it's a new thing, it's, it's been going on for a while. Realtors are now having to play like all the different roles, which means they want to buy toys from drones to cameras to all sorts of crazy stuff. And, but what I want to get is like, what do you think is the most valuable tools? And I know we got some of them sitting on the table mm -hmm. here, but what do you think is the most valuable tools? That's user friendly because I don't want you guys to have to feel like right. you have a whole other career to learn. Right. Um, you know, talk about a couple different things when it comes to that. Right. So I think definitely the most important is your cell phone. Right. So everybody has it in their pocket. It's already there for you. Right. Um, you know, and the and the camera quality on it, it's just it's getting better and better. It's um, you know right now we're filming on our big DSLR and you know now we'll film on our iPhone. Oh, and, this is on the iPhone. Yeah, and it's yeah. the quality there. DSLR, iPhone. iPhone. DSLR, what, how do you say it? <laughs> do you, our digital camera. Digital camera our versus the iPhone. iPhone. So okay, cool. quality is still just as good here. So everybody should be picking up their iPhone, creating videos, you know, before you jump into that really expensive camera. Because that really expensive camera is really expensive and you can get really great things there. So to take this tool and make it even better, you can get a couple of different gadgets. I have a gimbal. It's an Osmo and it's a mobile Osmo. Um, you know, we have the big one for our camera as well, but this, we get so much use out of this. Just simple listing tour. Um, you turn it on and you're gonna have a, uh, oh, you have to have the camera in there to turn it on. But anyways, okay. you're gonna have a, a little, what are these things called? Joystick. A joystick. <laughs> so you can, <laughs> I didn't play video games growing up. Okay. Anyway, so you can go throughout the house and do a full on tour. So this is great. This is also great for just an individual agent doing an update because it has that selfie stick kind of feature. So, so let me, let me, let me slow you down here and ask a question mm -hmm. with this guy right here. So I'm pretty sure anybody that is on Instagram has seen like the ad for like the guy on the skateboard rolling around or like, you know, the guy doing one of those things and it, it's, it's like the slow-mo or the, the, it's real smooth. Yes. This takes away the shaky hand. Yes. And, and is this hard to use? Um, no, no, it's really simple. You download an app and it will connect right with your phone via Bluetooth and it's really actually very simple. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I know when you start to get into these kind of gadgets it intimidates some people, but really this is an awesome tool. The difference between walking through a listing and doing a listing tour with your hands um, and this is just, you can't even compare them. This is going to be so much better quality. Your clients are actually going to know, you know, I think that when you say you're going to do a listing tour and you show up with just a cell phone, you kind of feel like, oh, it's still going to be good. But with this, it's much more professional. It's much oh, more. Oh, so you mean that the seller may have, that you're taking a video of their home may have a different impression of the level of professionalism you have or the investments you put in your business. That's a whole nother perspective, right? Yeah. And it's a simple, simple. Awesome. How much is this? I think this was uh, 200 bucks and we bought the newest version. You can get those, you know, they're the same thing. Yeah. One year old. Awesome. Bucks. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. The, our second tip uh, is this awesome stand. It's kind of like a selfie stand magnetic to your phone. So this is great for if you're going live on Instagram and YouTube or um, Facebook and Instagram at the same time, mm -hmm. you can plug both your phones up and have the same angle going. Uh, it also has light, which. Oh, honestly, I don't even know how to turn the light on. So. Oh, just there just you turn go. this thing. There okay. You go. All right. Right. So it has really good lighting. Doug uses this a lot in his mm -hmm. videos, but it it's really great for um, coaching calls or any kind of thing like that. So, so how important how important is lighting? Lighting is, I mean, it's the difference between looking super professional and looking like you filmed it in yeah. your office. Yeah. Even and I know you guys, this is in front of the camera, but there's a light here, there's a light there, there's a light there. We got them coming from up top. Right. So definitely, lighting makes a lot. Yeah, and I think the final thing I would say to step up your game would be to get a mic. And this is so basic. And we have really high quality mics. They're Zoom mics. Um, you can look those up on Amazon. However, you don't even need something this high quality. As long as you have a lav um, and a little recording pad, you'll be fine. But I definitely think miking up is the difference 
and video quality. Okay, so let's bring this back down to earth here. Okay, sorry. A Zoom microphone. So that's the brand. Yes. Right? How much did we spend for these? These are like $80 a mic. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's pretty inexpensive to the average realtor. Right. And what's cool But you can get these, one for $15. Yeah, I mean, you can get all sorts of things, but these are pretty cool because if you don't have the, you call it a lav, but yeah. let's refer to that as the lavalier. For right. the rest of us, that is the wire that has the microphone on the end of it. Yes. Right? Um, the microphone is Sony. Yeah, yes. It's Sony, and mm -hmm. it's like, this was like, I don't know, fifteen twenty dollars yeah, for the super wire. Cheap. This guy was like eighty, ninety dollars mm -hmm. or so, and um, makes all the world a difference. Even if you look back in our history and our YouTube channel, you'll see the quality level change yeah. from where we were using different different uh, products to what we have now, right? Right, absolutely. And there's always going to be a learning curve with these gadgets, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. And it's really all about putting content out there. So my my last tip is just start and don't feel like you have to be perfect from the very beginning. Just start, get on Canva, explore it, make a few review posts, um, and then you'll learn from there. There's an old saying, my dad says it all the time, and it's not the content, it's the contact. Now, as you get into a marketing department, you'll probably <laughs> start to say no content matters, and I totally agree. But for all of you out there that are getting started, I, would, I do recommend you think from that kind of mentality. Like, I'm not so worried about the quality. I'm worried about just getting content out there. I need to be seen. I need to know what's going on. Yeah, and, and you'll get better as you go. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So last piece I want to ask you here. Mm -hmm. We got, because we have a couple different audiences we're talking to. Mm -hmm. If you have a solo agent, out, if, you're, if you are a solo agent out there watching this video right now, I think most of what we talked about today, you could run with. Okay? Oh, absolutely. If you got one piece of advice. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. Technical <laughs> difficulties. Um, I can't if, you got, if you got one piece yeah. of advice to give the solo agent, I'm putting her on the spot here because this is okay. not planned. What's, what, what would be one advice as it applies to marketing? Well, I think what I just said about just getting out there and doing it, I think that that's absolutely key. Um, solo agents, don't be intimidated by things like scheduling Facebook posts, um, things like filming videos. I know that as an individual agent, sometimes it's hard to be like, my brand is myself and what is that? And I don't want to sell myself to my friends and family. But the way you make it um, really determines how people will receive it. So be organic, be authentic, and just start. You know what I mean? Just do it. Got it, got it. Okay, and then for the other audience, mm -hmm. um, let's say the larger team, maybe even the small brokerage, um, maybe they're thinking about actually getting a marketing director for their team. Um, or maybe they have a marketing director. I know I've been down this road before and we really didn't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. um, Megan understands that. Yeah. Um, you know, there's those challenges there too. What might you tell... I guess I'm going to throw two more in there. What might you tell like the team leader, the broker owner that's thinking about making their marketing person better or maybe hiring one? Yeah. And then what advice might you give to the marketing person who may be stepping in that position? Kind right. of both sides of that. I would say to the person looking to hire a marketing director, don't think that you're not going to have enough work for them because you will always have more. Marketing is a department that can just keep growing and keep growing. So email. Ge uh, geographic farming it just can get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so um, be prepared to start small and learn it together but also know that it's going to just keep growing and it's going to just keep benefiting your business the more equipped the person is right the yeah. more you practice um, and then to that person taking that role just don't try to do it all at once um, I think I'm guilty of that a lot of the time I try to do it all myself because I have a particular look I'm going for a particular message I'm trying to put out there but I think that um, take it one thing at a time. Don't try to do everything until you feel like you have a really good grasp. And then think about virtual assistants and um, just expanding your department. So I guess my tip is just like, don't think small for somebody hiring. There's lots to do. And then for the person doing it, don't get caught up with yeah, all the big. Get very <laughs> if those are completely time. opposite, but no, that's no, no, my totally advice. True, totally true. And, um, and then lastly, I would ask one more piece here, um, not to get too deep into the weeds here, but one of the problems that we had when we first started working together was her trying to figure out how to accomplish whatever the goal was and then me trying to understand if we were making progress or not. Yeah. So measurement's really important, right? Because that's, that's the, how we can communicate because we know what results we're trying to get. So without, I don't want to get into like what, how, how you measure what you want to do, but like, can you give me an example of where measurement has allowed you to maybe jump out a little bit further or maybe it didn't hold you back or? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think just being able to pull up that information for my CEO on the spot, hey, how are you doing? And having everything right there visually, this is what's working, this is what's not working, this is what I tried last week. And the great thing about social media is they have a lot of that measurements and insights for you, but you should take it a step farther. You should be link generating everything you do in your CRM with a certain name so that when it comes to that conversation, what is working? Well, I can tell you exactly what's working. Our listing of the weeks. Our listing of the weeks are generating about 10 leads per video. So it helps me be able to say, you know, it is important for us to leave the office for 30 minutes um, a week or maybe 45 minutes a week and film these because they're working. You know, whereas in your mind, you might not know, well, she's leaving the office. Is that a good thing? Is it working? Yeah, it is because you're tracking and measuring. Awesome, awesome. So no emotional decisions, no yeah. feelings, no, yeah, I got it. All about measurement. So awesome. I hope this was really helpful for you. Thanks for being here, Megan. Yeah, no problem. Thanks I for having me. I think it was me. awesome. Um, make sure, this is one of those videos that I think you, we could ask a lot of questions. So comment below. Let me know what you think. What questions do you have? Megan, are you available to answer some of those yeah. questions? Yeah, yep, I am. Of course. So make sure to follow her as well. Um, I'm so glad you guys were here today. And thanks for being here, Megan. Yeah, thanks. All right, Bye, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you.